Welcome everybody, and today we are doing full steam ahead. So today you're probably wondering why I sent you home with a packet of balloons and some hex nuts and a marble. This probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but in a minute it will. So we are doing screening balloons. Now, if you want, you can get all fancy and you can make a ghost out of your balloon. I am not going to do that, but you could. You could draw some eyes on and mouth. But what you're going to need to do is you are going to need to blow up your balloon and you're going to need to select um, the medium hex nut. So I gave you a really big one, and then I gave you the next size, and then I gave you some teeny tiny ones. You're gonna wanna select that medium one to start with. Push it down into your balloon and give your balloon a good blow up. Okay. Now, since I've blown my balloon up, I am going to put my mask back on. So this experiment is actually a two for one experiment. You, we are going to be learning about the science of motion and the science of sound. So to understand why and how this works, um, you kind of have to think about the shape of the balloon, which is kind of circular, and a hex nut is flat. And so, a hex nut naturally wants to roll in a straight line. If it got going, it's going to continually roll in a straight line motion. With a rounded surface, you are forcing the hex nut to go out of its natural path. So the shape of the balloon makes the he hex nut move in a circular path. Um, and then another force we have to consider with this experiment is friction. So you are going to hold your balloon and it takes a little bit of practice to get the screaming sound. And you've got to move. There's my hex nut. Had to find it. So it takes a little bit of practice and this is kind of the fun bit. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> The real force in action here is centripetal, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that, force. And this is an inward force on a body that causes it to move in a circular pattern. So that is a great science word, centripetal force. And I challenge you to look that up and see what else. Now you're probably wondering, okay, we did one, we made a balloon, we made it scream. But why, Miss Amy, did you give me all these other parts? Well, it wouldn't be a science experiment if you didn't try with other things. So I gave you a larger nut to try to see if they made a different sound. And I made, gave you a couple little nuts to try. And I also gave you a round marble. Do you think, and this is where you're going to have to make a hypothetical guess, which is what you believe is going to happen based on the education you learned off of this. Do you think this marble is going to make the same sound in a blown up balloon as a hex nut did? Do you think the marble is going to scream? So that's your challenge to try. Okay, everybody. Thanks for joining me.